That was fun. <laughs> that was so much fun. Um, yeah, that was exciting and, and great for a packed house to see us play like that and for our team to respond to the adversity of getting down and coming back and fighting and just uh, coming up with huge defensive stops in the fourth quarter and overtime. Um, so many different plays. I'm just, that was a lot of fun, but I'm so, so proud of, of this group because you look out there and there's, what, two 21-year-olds, two 20-year-olds, and Eric, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and we got it done. At various times tonight, it was it was Josh or it was LP or it was Jalen, and you talked about about their collective growth. You see them play like that spots against a team that's that veteran. What does it mean about what you've done so far? It means a lot. It means uh, that they're growing up. It means that um, they're learning um, the importance of the work and sticking with it and fighting through the hard times and finding success at the end of the rainbow um, when the lights are the brightest. So uh, there's a lot of great plays that those guys made, the young guys made. And, um, you know, obviously it's been a hard season for us, but it's been a season of growth, like we said, from day one. And I thought, think you saw that tonight. We kind of talked about this during, the, during your pregame press conference, but once again, how great has it been just to see the growth in Jalen Green, especially the way he took over in the fourth quarter in overtime? Yeah, it's great to see. It's 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 great to see the hours that he puts in upstairs, <laughs> making five hundred threes, and the work that he puts in with John Lucas, and all of the things that he's done this season as far as starting off a little bit slow and then slowly but surely getting better and better and better, never being afraid of the moment, never shying away from, um, you know, being aggressive. And um, tonight he was great. I mean, he, took the, he was just making every play. He was coming off that pick and roll and shooting his mid-range. He was making the threes. He made the step back to the corner three, which was tough. Um, but and on the defensive end, he was right there with the rest of the guys fighting for rebounds and in every play. So, uh, yeah, the confidence in him is growing. And uh, again, it's a product of the work that, that he puts in, specifically him, but collectively uh, the group. Also, Albie, you uh, have talked about how you want to see him continue to grow. You see him. Looks like he's playing stronger. I'm as strong as he's getting, but you know, he's, he also doesn't seem to be afraid of the moment. No, he's not. He's he's never been afraid of the moment. Um, you know, it, it, for him tonight, it was tough because they don't play a center. Uh, so on the defensive end, he was guarding, you know, Carmelo and Stanley Johnson, whoever else, and uh, he made some good plays. He had a great closeout in the in the overtime to the perimeter and we've been working on his closeout technique and I'm going to probably text him that clip tonight because it was a great closeout. And then on the offensive end, when teams are smaller, he can take advantage. You know, he has the shoulders and he has the hips and he has the feet to, um, and soft touch to, to score in the paint, but he made some big defensive plays as well. And the rebounding was, was huge. 15, so yeah, the rebounding was great. I didn't know it was that much. For him to be able to play 40 minutes, stay on the floor against a team that really doesn't play the center, how, much, how does that just, just keep that much Um, Probably not. Uh, it, it's different because tonight he wasn't necessarily on the guy kind of – you know, going at him. He was on the other guys. So uh, he was more of a helper as opposed to a primary defender. Um, and at times when he's the primary defender, he can get into foul trouble. But uh, tonight he kept his hands back. When he was in help, he closed out correct technique. 
and uh, did a good job of staying out of foul trouble because I was afraid of that tonight. Um, but again, to your point, yeah, a month ago, probably not. Like that's that's big time growth from him. You mentioned Jalen's never been afraid of the moment, but to actually go get your shots at that time, is that the step that we're seeing in these last few weeks, especially in the close games like this one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it's it's huge for him to to have 32 points on just 21 shots, right? And um, I don't think he shot a bad shot tonight and <clears throat> not a rush shot. Every shot was calculated and shot that he had worked on before. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's so gratifying to see him as well as like all these guys, Josh and Alpi, but um, yeah, it is a step for him. It's definitely a step for him. And um, we want to like enjoy this. I don't want to like make so much out of this, but it's a big deal because of uh, the steps that we have to take to get to a night like this. It seems like this group really enjoys seeing other guys get going. Yeah. Is the selflessness maybe one of the best assets this that's such a good point. I mean, you see our bench when guys make good plays. You see, you know, the other guys on the court making sure that Jalen gets the ball because they see that Jalen's rolling and making sure that everybody's in the right spots. I thought uh, Scoot did a really good job of just, like, being simple. He had a few turnovers, but as far as, like, making plays, he made, yeah, 10 assists. So and eight rebounds. So he was an only one turnover. So that's a that's a really solid game that kind of gets lost in the other young guys, Jalen and Alpi and Josh. Yeah, don't forget about Scoot. And then the other person who can't get lost in his effort tonight is Eric, because the job that he did on LeBron was, I mean, he stayed with him. <laughs> and we were trying so hard not to switch and not to – uh, have anybody kind of have to help and Eric would fight through and use his strength and make it hard and um, his defense was a huge huge key. What I think of KJ's impact in this game on both ends especially in the minutes where you had him kind of as the, the small ball five out there on the court? He did a good job he screened he rolled uh, if he didn't have if he didn't set a good enough screen or we didn't get an advantage he'd go up there and screen again his athleticism on the defensive end was really good, but the game plan that we had, um, he stuck to it and he was guarding Westbrook. So that's a different, that's completely different than anything he's ever done probably since high school where he's had a guard like a point guard. And uh, and he did a good job of not getting in foul trouble first and foremost, but following the game plan and keeping himself between him and uh, uh, Westbrook. A lot and, of exciting. Sorry, Coach. There's a lot of exciting plays tonight, but one thing that will stick out to you looking at that final box would be the 94% from the free throw, not correct? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> We've had some some nights where they've been uh, not so not so high. So yeah, the 94% from the line and the 43 from three definitely helps. But there are just so many different plays tonight that were just, I mean, like. Like it, like I said at the beginning, it's just a fun, fun game for a fun group who works hard. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yeah.